Get ready to turn that small living room into a decorating sensation. Don't let its size hold you back because with the perfect plan, you can have a living room that's both functional and fabulous. In this article, we're spilling out some of the finest tricks on how to make the most out of every inch of your space. So grab a notebook, sit back, and get ready for a fun ride as we show you how to maximize your small living room like a pro. As always, Simphone presents you with the countdown. Number 12, a sectional corner sofa project from IKEA Calyx. Create your own sectional sofa with ease using IKEA Calyx units. Simply lay two Calyx units on their sides to form the base, add a cushion, and voila, you have a stylish day bed. For extra storage, slide in storage boxes under the cushion. Repeat the steps to make another day bed and arrange the units in an L shape to complete your custom sectional sofa. Number 11, a pallet sofa project idea with hidden storage. Looking for a sofa that's comfortable, practical, and unique? Look no further. With just a few steps, you can turn pallets into the perfect little sofa, complete with extra storage for books, cat toys, and more. First, clean the pallets, remove any nails, sand them down, and add casters to the base. Then create the backrest and sides using pallet strips and attach everything to the base with screws. Finally, make a couple of drawers using plywood and broken pallets, paint them, and slip them into the bottom of the sofa. Easy peasy. Number 10, a vinyl media console project idea. This vinyl media console is made with an open concept to help you find things easily. It has three parts, upper, middle, and lower with casters. First, make the frame with three long vinyl pieces, one for the base and the other two for the sides. Attach them all using screws and install the casters. Then, make the lower part with four partitions to give five vertical compartments. Separately, make the middle part using a pair of long vinyl pieces and a small partition. Attach this part atop the lower part. Lastly, make the upper part with two sections left and right. Number 9. A Lift-Top Coffee Table Project with Copper Legs the first step to making this lift-top coffee table is choosing the material, but you could use any sturdy piece you have at home and trim down into lengths. Glue up all the pieces and let them dry for a few hours before cleaning any squeezed glue. Then construct the drawer section and cabinet before installing the internal lift-top mechanism. The next step is to install the drawer, sand the entire surface, and apply the finishing you desire. After the table is done, it's time to make the base with copper tubing. Attach the joints using solder, and then you're done. Number 8. A Small Round Coffee Table Project Idea a sliding top feature for a coffee table is an exciting idea. You could open it to hidden storage and close it to function as regular furniture. Begin the project by making a template using X-Carve. Trace the template for the base and cut them into pieces. Then flush trim the pieces. Repeat the steps for the top and bottom pieces. Go forward and make a rabbit in the base. You will also need to create a pivot point to keep the sliding top on track every time it's closed. Next, add veneer using contact cement and sand the surface before making the legs. And applying the finishing will be the last step before the coffee table's ready to use. Number 7. An Easy DIY TV Stand Project Idea for the Entertainment Center if you're getting into DIY projects, this TV stand suits you because it is pretty straightforward. Begin by measuring and cutting the wood. You could have them trimmed or do the job yourself using a circular saw. Second, pre-drill holes and make a rectangle box. Next, insert screws and install cabinet hinges. Add the middle shelf for additional support by creating brackets before nailing in the backing. Then insert holes for the door handle. Until this step, you have a raw-looking TV stand. After attaching the legs, the job is done. But if you pursue the striking stripes, do the painting job before attaching the legs. Number 6. Refurbish Old Furniture with Industrial Style Black Chalk Paint 
Industrial style is known for its clean lines, thus in this project you will need to choose a piece of old furniture without decorative elements and many rounded edges, and it goes for your first step. The second step is to paint the handles gold. Next, remove the old finish before sanding and staining the entire wood surface. Lastly, paint it with a chalk paint in matte black. Number 5. A Travertine Side Table Idea Build a stylish and affordable travertine side table to elevate your living room. Get three pieces of travertine pavers and mark the center of one for evenness. Glue the second paper on top of the first one to create a T-shaped base, then let it dry overnight. On the next day, measure and mark the third piece, then glue it onto the base to become the top. Wait two more days to ensure the glue sets properly. Number 4. A Bread Bin Hack Side Table Project Idea Do you know that you can't get so much from a bread bin out of bamboo? Well, you know now. Find a pair of bamboo bread bins and attach them using nails and super glue, while waiting until it's dry, making the legs with timber offcuts. If the glue is already dry, attach the legs to the base. Then paint your new furniture and wait another hour until it's dry. Number 3. A Sofa That Turns Into A Bed A sofa bed is convenient and of course multifunctional. If you have an overnight guest often, this furniture will save you a lot. Start the project by making panels for the side and the back. Next, build the arm with open storage and attach it to the back part. Moving forward, build the seating frame and sand it. Apply stain or finish and install the front as well as the slats. The sofa bed is only complete once you arrange some cushions and throws above it. Number 2. Take inspiration from this amazing portfolio. Cut down the plywood sheets to get started using Craig Rib Cut or Circular Saw. Then add a back panel with another sheet of plywood to fit over the body. Install the drawer slides to the shelf's front edge. Next, install trim on the bookshelf sides before building and installing the hidden storage. Add the drawer fronts by cutting a plywood sheet into four. Then install the crown and the top panel. Apply to finish after you're sure it has a smooth surface. As we approach the end of our countdown, we want to remind you that our collection of home improvement ideas doesn't stop here. Simp Homes Content Collections offer a wealth of information on a variety of topics including gardening, home improvement, finance, bathroom upgrades, bedroom updates, and much more. So if you're looking for even more inspiration for your next project, be sure to check out our other collections. And as we wrap up this countdown, let's take a look at our top pick with... Number 1. A Side Table with Tons of Sneaky Hidden Storage Seeking a secret hiding spot for your valuables? Build your own end table. First, measure and cut a giant panel into pieces for the shelves and frame. Iron edge band around the pieces, unless they're solid wood. Then assemble the frame with interior wood glue and secure it with brads or clamps. Insert the shelves into the frame for an open cubby. Add a faux panel for a hidden drawer, making it closed by sticking it on the back. To make two drawers look like one, stack them, install a piano hinge, add a pull-out front lid, install the drawer slides, and fit the drawers. Make the legs, attach them to the base, sand the surface, add the finishing, and voila, your sneaky end table is complete. Well, that's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching this video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Like the video if you believe it'll motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly, though, it is more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project, and we'll see you again soon.